Hello everyone and welcome in this uh, chapter. So this chapter is known as Purdue model. So Purdue uh, came from Purdue University where this research was done. And this is a model which is commonly used in uh, cyber security. So whenever you will design a, a network architecture drawing or any architecture drawing related to cyber security. So some customers will say you to provide it in a Purdue model format and then you need to show all the levels what what we can we are seeing on the screen on the right side this type of levels we need to segregate the our instrumentation our control servers and everything in in this format so basically a Purdue model for control hierarchy is common and well understood model in manufacturing industry that segments devices and equipments into hierarchical functions so we can see like it is going from level 0 to level 5 so there are also intermediate levels sometimes you will see 3.5 is 3.75 so uh, it's a quite flexible nowadays OEMs and uh, service providers and system integrators they are they are also tweaking these models but but uh, this was the initial which was uh, from level 0 to 5 so level zero, which consists of a wide variety of sensors, actuators, devices involved in the basic manufacturing process. Sometimes the safety uh, critical instrumentations or SIS that is also kept in, um, in this model. But, but uh, what Cisco has done, Cisco has kept this uh, in a completely separate zone, we can say. And they have started from zero to five. So that, that's what I said you like multiple uh, OEM providers or system integrators, they will they depict the Purdue model in a little bit in a different variant or different flavors we can say but but almost concept will be similar or same in most of the cases. So level zero is the basic level in the Purdue model which consists of all the field instrumentation here all the communications are happening in either 4 to 20 milliamps or some proprietary uh, protocols it could be Modbus, DNP or IC or field bus so level zero is the basic level where it is really close to the process all the instrumentations and measuring things will be close to the process and then we have the level one basic control where consists of basic controllers that control and manipulate the manufacturing process so we are talking about the controllers io cards at, at this level so which is the key function to interface with level zero devices so this uh, basic control will be directly connected to the process so it's like cables are coming from this uh, level zero and it is getting terminated at the IO level or if these two are the Wi-Fi devices then they are communicating through the Wi-Fi protocol. So might be the, in DCS or in uh, PLC these, these are the cable communications from DIDO, AIAO, all those cables are connected to the basic control and this is what we are seeing these are IOs, linking devices, breezes. Then uh, moving ahead uh, uh, one level is uh, level two so this is area control it is said so area supervisory control we can see in the level two and uh, level two represents the system and functions associated with the runtime supervision and operation of an area of a production family so here the solutions like hmi will be there or workstation will be there or a local control panel will be there so from where you can see, uh, you can do a runtime operation or runtime supervision of your process. Then further moving ahead, uh, uh, it is uh, site manufacturing operation and controls and this is level three or this is the highest level of industrial automation and control system. The systems and applications that exist at this level manage site-wide industrial automation and control function. So basically in, in this level, the control in this level the workstations will be there hmis will be there operator workstation engineering workstation will be there so that any command or any logic will be built and downloaded from there so this is a complete we can say control room or engineering room of of a plant so all the applications like whether it is a, a tri station or it is a foxboro dcs or uh, emerson delta dcs or honeywell dcs or yokogawa dcs siemens dcs all all those dcs solutions software solutions will reside the, here uh, even sometimes patch management server reside here even uh, active if you have the active directory control for other uh, for all your servers that will reside here backup solutions uh, will reside here so all types of management as well as the solutions which is directly or indirectly associated with the control system that will reside in this zone so this is the level three 
Then we have level four also. So site business planning and logistics level four is where the functions and systems that need standard access to service provide by the enterprise network this idea. So uh, systems like uh, S E E R P or power planning or any uh, recipe planning. In some of the manufacturing industries, what we do, we we create some recipes and then we download into our engineering workstation or or directly to the controller even sometimes those type of systems will retain will reside in level four which decides the business planning like if if we want to schedule our load like at what time how much load should go and if that is fully automated and integrated to your control system to your dcs then then there will be communication between level four to your uh, uh, even level two or level one so this type of solution which decides the outcome of the day or outcome of the complete month so planning scheduling these type of applications will decide in this level also if you have some inventory management and there is a, or defect planning and management like sap systems so where where you maintain all those defects or permits raised by the uh, operators and the maintenance person and those type of process if you have there these type of applications will decide in this level then uh, and then in level five it is enterprise network uh, where centralized it systems and functions will exist so mail servers mail to outside or pi systems enterprise resource management business to business business to customer services typically reside on this level so company websites are hosted on this level and all all, all sorts of other it systems it support it technical supports will remain sometimes bi systems erp systems will reside on this zone sometimes sap system resides in this zone and in level four we will have like uh, machine monitoring systems where all those performance of the machine data are analyzed or in level four sometimes we keep solutions uh, like vibration monitoring systems or efficiency management systems and in enterprise network we keep like uh, uh, like sap or scheduling thing so uh, these we need to see by the case by case and business by business scenario and how it looks like where where it will be uh, more convenient to keep things so earlier whatever uh, architectures were designed that was purely based on the convenience and ease of access but now now the uh, requirements are changing we need to design our solutions based on the cyber security needs we need to think of this based on the cyber security aspects of the organization we need to see what is the risk of that organization and then we need to design our architecture so that it should be cyber secure and also it should be uh, convenient to use to at least the set of the population or set of the uh, intended audience uh, only like if operator is destined to work on the operator workstation so it should not be convenient for it people to access this system it should be only convenient to the operate operator or the engineer to access those systems that is what kept in the mind while we design our solutions for with aspect of the cyber security so that's all about the Purdue model let's let's move we'll use this Purdue model many times in our course of this uh, chapters so keep in mind like what this levels level zero to five what is all about and then we can move ahead thank you